Well, it's been a, a lifelong thing for me and the greatest joy I get, I think, is people coming into this gallery and they'll find something here that'll be special to them uh, from their childhood or their experience or their knowledge. It means different things to different people. When you see people looking at the mural, they find their place in the mural from when they were young and it evokes memories and I get a great deal of enjoyment of people seeing things that they wouldn't normally or generally see. The club itself is fundamental socially, culturally, economically to the city uh, and what this collection does is not only document the football club but in so many ways the people of Geelong itself. It's interesting the first whistle that's used in a game of football is here. The oldest membership ticket of any football club of any code in the world is here. The oldest collection of football cards uh, is here. So the most unique thing, it's hard to say. I think there's a whole bunch of things that would fall into that category. The exhibition's got about 800 works in it, so it's been tough to find a favourite item. If I had to choose one, I would say it is the small 1923 badge of the cat, one of the first badges that re represented the cat as a mascot. My favourite piece, which is not unique uh, and not particularly valuable, would be the polypharma card that I collected when I was nine years old. It is my most treasured item, but not my most valuable. One of the great things about the exhibition is that, it, yes, it's about the football club, but it's about photography and graphic design and garment design, uh, and it has something for everybody. It's been an accumulation of 50 years research and work, and um, it's been a great joy.